This right here is a standalone ECU, which I'll be installing onto this car to run it with the turbo, but it's not really an ECU. Not yet. Right, hello and welcome to episode 2 of turbocharging my K11 Nissan Micra. In the last episode, I fabricated my turbo manifold, which as of recording this isn't done because I ran out of gas. But I said there's no point in sitting around doing nothing, I might as well get some progress done on the car. And thankfully, this thing came in the post today. Basically what this is, is a Speedwino 3.7 version ECU board. In here I have all the components I need to build my own ECU. The most simple way I can put it is, it's like a circuit board coupled with a little computer uh, and then you solder in a lot of electrical components like uh, diodes and resistors and all sorts of stuff and you end up with a little tiny computer which gets information from all of your engine sensors and processes them in order to make your engine run and once you have it all set up you can tune it using tuner studio and do your own map and it's literally a fully standalone ecu but way less expensive this isn't a sponsored video or anything, but I heard a lot of good things about this thing. So uh, I'm really excited to throw it onto my car and hopefully get it running for the first time in like over 14 months. For those of you who don't know, uh, basically there was an issue with the key chip and the mobilizer wouldn't read the key. And this car has not started in over 14 months. And this right here might just change that. Well, not might, will, hopefully. So right in front of me, I have all the components that I need to make my standalone ECU. And right here, I have opened the Speedwino manual, which has all of the instructions. So I think I'm ready to start uh, soldering. Ten minutes later, I have uh, finished soldering all the resistors from one of the, I don't even know how many packs of other resistors and diodes and load of other things I have to actually solder on the board. So I'm not going to record all of it. Uh, mainly because it's literally just very repetitive. So um, I'm going to crack on with that and I'll see you guys very soon. Right, so I finished making the ECU, soldering it and putting it all together. Next up, I got this connector, which is from the stock ECU, which is not usable anymore, to say the least. And basically, I have this uh, diagram here for the ECU wiring, and I'm going to make a small loom from the connector into the ECU. So I didn't really mean to, but I kind of finished making the loom for the connector. Uh, these are all the wires as of now that I think I need to connect to the ECU, and I've already started connecting some of them. I'm not going to go into detail and tell you what each one of these wires is, but I'm going to wire them up as I know I'm supposed to, and hopefully the car will run like this, because I'm not really entirely sure what I'm doing. So, a few days later, I have finally got the time to uh, figure this out, I think. All of it is wired into the car's uh, OEM connector. Apart from the fan wire, because it's not necessary to have it connected to run the car, and I need to figure out some sort of relay for that. If this does turn out successful, I will do a guide on how to set one of these up on a coil pack micro. Now that that's in, I could load the firmware onto the Arduino, but first, I want to install this. This is an external igniter of a 1998 Volkswagen Passat. Although these are three pin um, coil packs, which you would expect to be smart coils, they're actually not. So that's the reason we need that. So I've got all four wires cut. Got this, uh, because I don't have the connectors, I kind of just like cut off the cover plastic thing. And I'm just going to wire it straight into the loom. And there we go, not too long later, we have it wired into the loom. We also had to add this ground. I ran out of electrical tape, but I'm gonna tidy it up later when I, when I get electrical tape. Anyway, next up, if you have seen episode one, you may remember I installed the wideband O2 sensor into the manifold, and here we have the connector. 
Now to properly finish the ECU wiring, I'm gonna run this cable from the sensor into the cabin and connect it to the ECU. So I've run the cable into the cabin and then under behind the pedals, up into here into the AFR gauge. Eventually I wanna mount it here and that's gonna look mint, but that's the least of my worries right now because my car doesn't even run. Now from the AFR gauge, we need to run this cable all the way back down into the ECU. And that's actually gonna be the signal to know the air fuel ratio. So I've run, I was actually a bit wrong about that. It's actually you need to run 12 volts ground and then AFR negative and AFR positive. There's more wires in the loom that the gauge came with, but they're actually just optional stuff. So we're not gonna use them. Right, so that is all the wiring for the ECU, the AFR gauge, the igniter. That's all of it done. Hold on, no, uh, never mind. I forgot about the map sensor. I need to run this vacuum hose to the ECU so it knows how much air is in the intake system. So now, if you haven't realized already, I got rid of the purge canister off the car. It's just to do with like emissions and fuel. Nobody cares. Point is, now I have a little point where I can tap into the intake system after the throttle body because that's what matters. So let's tap into it and run the vacuum hose into the cabin. Right, I'm running out of daylight, but there you go. We've tapped into it and then ran this smaller vacuum hose in there through the firewall there it is and it is going to the map sensor so now we are done so we are now at the laptop i've downloaded speedy loader to load the firmware onto the arduino board we got lights to that so there's clearly power to it that's it looks like the firmware has been uploaded so next day I have downloaded a tuner studio onto the laptop, got the firmware onto the Arduino board and I've also loaded a bass tune onto the board. I found the file for the bass tune from somebody who did pretty much what I'm doing but on a 1.4 engine and uh, on the version 4 of this Arduino. so I had to tweak around a bit with the settings on the tune but a huge shout out to Mega Micro on YouTube, I'll link his uh, stuff down below uh, because this has made stuff a lot easier, I got the fuel map, the spark map, literally everything. Obviously we're not going to get the car running in this video, I am going to probably calibrate the sensors, I need to connect it to the board and everything like that but the engine still doesn't have oil in it so episode 3 is going to be physically getting the car ready to crank over and start. Also, forgot to mention, I was meant to install a 5 amp fuse onto the power for the AFR gauge, so I did that. So, I've loaded the bass tune onto the Arduino, connected it to the actual Speedduino board, connected it to the car, and I'm about to connect the battery for the first time, so um, let's see how it goes. We've got power to the car, and now if we flick the ignition on, the ECU should go on, and so should the AFR gauge. All right, well, I heard the fuel pump prime, so I definitely did something right. These do not look right. It is 20 degrees outside, so we need to calibrate them. However, nothing has caught on fire yet, so that's good. I also forgot I wasn't even looking at that, but that's working. Look at that. Right, we're outside. The laptop is on the wheelie bin. I have calibrated the manifold absolute pressure sensor, so it's roughly on 100. That I, I selected the right one. It was very easy. Uh, this hose is going to the sensor so if I blow into it it should go up which it does and if I uh, pull air out of it yeah it's going down so th that works so all there's really left to do is just calibrate a load of sensors and that's episode two over basically in episode three I'll have all of that figured out and we're literally gonna do I'm not even gonna mention what we're gonna do it's gonna be a lot to do with the engine like plugs oil lower stuff just to get it back into running condition Right, so that's pretty much it for episode two. We've done the ECU, all the wiring, the AFR gauge. So pretty much all of that is done. All we need to do now to get the car running is just put oil into it, do the last few bits of work, and that's all gonna be in episode three. What problem do we just have now that we weren't able to fix? Gamma enrichment. Right, there are absolutely no problems. So we got everything sorted out. There's definitely nothing we have no idea how to do or fix uh, regarding the tune. Uh, so yeah, we're all ready to go. Hope you enjoyed this video. And um, I'll see you in episode three. Goodbye.